last couple of hits to make sure the ball is up to temperature. And then we'll be off. Best of five games. Now all. So it's going to be Noel Shabini who's going to start off this much anticipated quarter final matchup. If you were a betting person, Vanessa, and I know you're not, where would your money be? Well, I uh, I called it before the before the event, didn't I? Um, oh, well, you were one of the experts. I was uh, the pundit <laughs> that you referred to, as you well know. Um, so I'm going to stick with that. Shabini's been the best player of uh, certainly the latter half of the season, and it would be very hard to bet against her. But I do think that. Uh, this match could be a lot closer than their previous uh, meetings. Yeah, I mean, I've got a feeling it's going to go to five. I think, um, I think I'd go 3 2 El Shabini. Massive opening rally. Well, she's nailed the three wall boast into the nick. And uh, one love. Do you think that David is going to look to extend these rallies as much as she can? She wants to put some hard work into El Shabini. Absolutely. So she would have been one all. quite content with that first rally. She does not want Shabini to get quick points in. Something that Shabini has been able to do the last few times we've seen them play. She really, David's really struggled with the, the Shabini uh, short game and her ability to break the pattern of David's movement. forced by Shabini and Nicole David will be hoping for more of those. And, uh, She's uh, certainly looking to extend these rallies. Of course, it's the first time that we've seen Nicole David with the new technique, a new grip. She's gone up the racket, so she's holding it. It's much shorter. So you'll notice the grip Shabini. below the hand is very Not evident bad. and visible. 3-1. Just explain to the, the viewers the reasoning behind that, Vanessa. Well, she's just trying to get that extra bit of uh, touch in the front of the court. Gives the, a bit more control over the racket face. Ability to use the strings a bit more and take a bit more pace off the ball on those sh short shots. Keep it nice and close to the front wall. Make that court a bit bigger by doing so. And uh, she's obviously feeling comfortable with it. She's, uh, she's in the quarterfinal. It is an interesting decision that we've talked about in uh, previous matches because it's a big thing to change in the middle of the season. Do you know who suggested it? I don't, actually. Who, who do you think would be one of the few people in squash that would be able to maybe make the suggestion like that to someone that's won eight world championships? Well, it would have to be Liz. I think that would be uh, the only person I can imagine that would uh, think fellow great. Sarah Fitzgerald. Male. Do you know that this is, this is the case? Yeah. Yeah, I did my research. Go on then. <laughs> Jahangir Khan spoke to her at the Jardini. British Open. Really? That's yeah. interesting. Yeah, he suggested Jardini. it might be something that she could look at. And she's and come, um, she's come back four. from the British Open and taken it. Obviously discussed it with Liz Irving and um, has made the changes. That's incredible. Yeah. Uh, 
What's interesting, isn't it? Three, four. Funny thing is, I don't remember Jahangir Khan having a really high. <laughs> 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 Again, not uh, someone that you would want to argue too much in terms of. But that. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. It's like if there's one person that's probably in a, in a pretty good position to offer an eight times world champion advice, it's a ten times British Open winner. <laughs> True. Well, a lot of people have been mentioning it players and coaches and well, it's been a real talking point hasn't it this yeah, week yeah i would say more people seem to disagree with the decision yes lad. but uh, i Three just think at the end of the day if nicole is comfortable with it then that's the main argument right. tell you what we've seen a lot of shabini errors and out considering Five we're three. We're only eight rallies or eight points into this match. The nerves, maybe. It's a big occasion. She should be aware that she is the favourite to win this match, possibly even to win the tournament. So it would be understandable if she is feeling a little bit nervous early on in this match. Well, and the error from David that time. The cross court was on. There was a huge space begging to be hit in the back right hand corner of the court. Incredible recovery six, within that last rally from David. I'm sure Shabini would have thought she's hit a winner here with that shot. Well, one yeah. thing's for sure, when David is on the court, you have to expect a lot of balls to come back into play. And out, five, six. It's something that she was uh, able to really heavily rely on when she was very dominant. Um, especially with the higher tin and ability to keep that ball in play and and eventually force the error and really just tire players out and that's something she hasn't been able to do as much against players like Shabini who uh, especially with the lower tin are able to uh, to just put the ball away and hit winners well, that's another great rally there's a bit of space here I think Yes, let. Yeah, I thought that was going to be a Five, let ball. Six. the player completely settled yet we have seen a lot more errors than we would normally associate with both players and well, the first opportunities David's had in the front corner to really attack there's been she's played drop shots but they've had to be quite pushy defensive drop shots because they've come from a Shabini attack. <laughs> slightly fortuitous from Nicole David. Eight, six. Well, in terms of the sort of psychology of the match, the first game obviously always important, but especially when there's a sense that both players are feeling the pressure and maybe a little bit nervous, suddenly that first game becomes even more crucial and allow the person to, that and takes the game seven, to eight. just settle a little bit. The backhand there from Nicole David that she played half court was the first shot in this 
game that we've seen her really cut down the ball and get seven. the extra bite that she's been looking for with the newfound grip. She is on fire here. She's finding a bit of form. 10 7, game ball. Backhand is finding its range. So, game balls for David. Oh, what a rally! David just a bit edgy with the forehand, cross court drop. And ball out. sitting game up game and Shabini getting onto it and countering. Out. That's a that's a really nice Nine lob ten. from Shabini. Well, Shabini's done so well with these game balls. She hasn't really given David an opportunity apart from the first game ball. So we're going into a tie break where the player has to win by two clear points. Well, she just seems to have relaxed a little bit, uh, you know, going 7 10 down has just allowed her to, uh, to settle a little bit and freed up the arm. She was looking a little bit tentative with her shot. She made a few errors. Wow. Look at that. They are the backhand drop shot winners that we associate with Shabini. 11-10, game ball. So game ball, but this time for Norel Shabini. Shervini. Wow, how's that no let? I, I was almost thinking of stroke. Video review, video review Shervini on the no let decision. I'd be surprised if this remains as a no let. Well, let's have another look. It was she was really heavy with the drop shot going in, but was there a, was there a line on the inside? Yeah, potentially. The referees clearly feel that there's a line on the inside. Yeah, there is a line. She's actually veered off to the left slightly, hasn't she, towards the end? So, well spotted by the referees. And out, 11 all. Well, David let off the hook there, really, because if uh, Shabini had opted to go through and play, there was a massive open space to hit to. Been a real change in the dynamics of the hitting. David. Stroke for David. That's a stroke for Nicole David. She snared El Shabini there. 12, 11, game ball. So another game ball for David. Can she convert this one?
Jason David. He has left. 12 11 game ball. This is some good rallies here. Well, El Shabini making no mistake with that shot. And again, earlier on in that rally, there was an opportunity for David and just not severe enough with the short shot and leaving herself susceptible to the counter-attack. There's well, no doubt she's definitely feeling it on there because she's not getting the ball firing in as she would like. Oh. And there's the error from David, so... Another game ball for Nora El Shabini. Well, this is turning into a huge game. Yeah, nicely done, clever. She won the previous point with a straight David. backhand volley drop. That time setting David up and Go turning ahead. around the corner. It's an impressive finish from Noel Shabini. So 12 minute first game, 14-12 to Noel Shabini and she leads by one game to love.